Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 8. Today we're going to be talking about the new trailer that was just released. Also, we got a synopsis for the episode that is coming next week, because tomorrow we are returning with another episode, episode 12. So, very much so looking forward to that. So, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any future DCTV videos. So, sorry for the lack of uploads over the past week, I was away and I wasn't able to upload over the weekend. However, we are back and back to normal with our videos. Superman Lois is on later tonight, so expect a video on that either tonight or tomorrow. But for now, let's go ahead and get into today's topic. So, we're going to be going over the trailer first, then I'll go over the synopsis for this other episode next week that we're going to be talking about. So basically this trailer was released a couple of days ago, I think lots of people have seen it and lots of people have talked about it already. So I'm going to leave a link in the description below to the trailer if you haven't watched it or if you want to rewatch it. But we're going to be breaking it down and going through everything that happens in the trailer and what it means and everything that we can analyze from it. And so, let's talk about what happens first. So, we get like a bunch of shots that we've seen from the past, basically recapping the last maybe five or so episodes. So, you have like Barry running away from an explosion, Barry going crazy with his lightning in the air, Deathstorm, which was obviously the big thing, the last reveal that we had in the previous episode, that being Ronnie Raymond isn't back, but in fact, this is Deathstorm, and this is what Deathstorm looks like, and he looks awesome very comic book accurate and I can't wait to see him fully in action and so yeah we get like a bunch of recaps and that is obviously just to serve as like a setup of what is going to happen next considering that we had a week break even though I don't know why we had a week break but nevertheless we are back tomorrow night with a new episode of The Flash and so yeah let's move on to the first shots in the trailer now I'm not necessarily going over it like chronologically how it's going to appear because I don't know if they're all in the same episode. As far as I know, I believe a lot of the stuff that we're seeing in this trailer and the shots we're going to be talking about are from multiple episodes. So not like just next episode or the episode after, but some like even further on, like episode 15 or something like that. So the first shot, the first new shot I should say of the trailer is of Chester here. Now he's super sweaty as you can see from his forehead. He's in maybe like gym gear, Chester doesn't normally wear this sort of stuff, so you can presume he was maybe working out in the speed lab, kind of looks like the speed lab or something, and it seems things are very intense because the way he looks at Allegra definitely says intense, and the next shot after this is actually them holding hands, so they're very much so pushing for this, but it doesn't look like a normal holding hands, it looks like them kind of gripping onto each other because they're in fear and I don't know what exactly is going on but we cut to another shot another angle we see them hug and Allegra's face says it all she's in fear it seems they're in some sort of bad situation and literally the next three episodes that all got death in the title so we can presume someone's definitely gonna die and it's going to take a heavy toll on Team Flash and we'll talk more about that as we go along with the trailer and as we go along and talk about the synopsis for the next episode afterwards. But for now, let's go back to CCPD where we have Joe who is going to be helping out, presumably in the next episode, with Kramer at the precinct. And it seems they are going after a new criminal. And who is this new criminal? Well, this new criminal is in fact this guy right here. Now, this is outside like a loan and kind of bank, so you can presume maybe he's some sort of bank robber. However, he has some sort of like superpower, well, probably strength, and he is fully juiced up and like teched up, I guess you could say, in like this kind of mech suit, and he's got like a bunch of tools around him, I don't know what his specific name is or what his role is, you can just presume he is the big bad for the week, and that's pretty much it. It doesn't look like this is anyone working for Deathstorm or anything, I think this is an individual situation where CCPD, Joe and Kramer are going to be dealing with this, although I think Barry will be showing up because after this guy flips the car, destroys the car and it's in flames, you get this shot of Barry right here and there's flames in the background of this car so you can presume it's from the same scene. And so presumably Barry's going to try and take that guy down, 
but he is very, very powerful, and I don't know if it's going to be that easy for Barry. So let's move on to the next shot. This is of Caitlyn. I believe this was last episode with the reveal Death Storm because the lighting is all blue, and it seems this was, you know, just a reverse shot of Caitlyn when she saw Death Storm. And so with that, people have been theorizing, considering that one of the episodes, which is episode. 14 is titled funeral for a friend so we can presume someone is going to be dying and who is that person well i think caitlin is likely only because she is so connected to death storm and maybe she would say sacrifice herself for death storm however i would say they're gonna keep either caitlin or frost if they kill one of them off so that's not danielle panabaker going away but it's one of them so would they keep Frost? Or would they keep Caitlyn? Would they kill either of them? That is the big question right now. I'm going to say one of them could die, but I'm not going to say exactly who yet because I need to think about that more and I don't have like a good definitive reason for killing one of them off apart from their connection with Ronnie. Let's move on to the next section of the trailer. This next section is full of green lights and full of kind of this different kind of color palette that we're not used to. And we can presume maybe this is in the still force and this is related to what is happening with Iris. But this episode is actually not for a while. This is the return of Nora and Bart Allen. And they're going to be returning, I believe, in the episode where we see Zoom. You remember there was that newspaper snippet that was around. I think that is the episode where they return. And so you can presume we're seeing this footage from that episode. And that is definitely not in the next couple of episodes. I don't know the exact number, but it's coming up later down the line in maybe like three to four weeks, something like that. And so, yeah, the green lights definitely suggest we're in the still force, and it seems Barry is there too because, you know, the green lights again, you can see in this shot. And so they have a conversation. I don't know what specifically they are talking about. However, that continues, and we even snap back to reality, it seems where we have the kind of normal lighting in the speed lab and you see Barry right here on the ground he is sort of kneeling and Nora there is another reverse shot of that and so it seems they land on the ground like this you can see in this two shot right here and they're looking at nothing so you can presume they've suddenly gone into the steel force I don't know if that's because of Iris I don't know if that's because of Dion however They've been subjected to this alternate reality and this is them snapping back into reality in the real speed lab rather than being say in the still force and so the mystery of iris is going to continue onwards and we see in the trailer like a couple of shots of iris with her eyes glowing green we know this is going to be a big deal throughout you know most of the rest of the season and I'm not sure if it's going to get solved like straight away because I believe they're going to try and drag it on a bit longer and as far as I know apparently Iris or Candace Patton took a little bit of a break in between some of the episodes so I don't think she's going to be showing up for like every episode so maybe she goes missing like you know she has been disappearing and she made you know the mum of Tinya disappear as well so with that in mind you can presume Barry and, say, Nora are going to have to go into, say, the Still Force or wherever all these people are stuck and have to try and save them. And so we get a shot right here with the green glow of the background once again, suggesting we're in the Still Force. And it looks like this is in Barry and Iris's home, obviously the home of Joe and Cecile currently right now, but their childhood home. And maybe Iris is in there and Barry has come to rescue her, it seems. So, what do you guys think about all of this? This is definitely very, very exciting because I don't think we've necessarily gone into the mind of Iris like this ever before. And we have one more shot in this kind of world because we've got a green light streak once again. But this time, Barry is outside, so it seems this journey isn't going to be contained to just like one house or just a speed lab, but it's also going to be out there in the whole world. And I don't know how big this is going to get, but you can presume it's going to be big considering the stakes that have been set up with Tinya's mum disappearing and everything like that. So the final shot of the trailer is of Barry, and I don't know where he specifically is, but it's outside. Maybe this is from one of the 
newer episodes that are going to be coming up sooner. Maybe this is to do with the guy that we saw blowing up and flipping over the cop car. But this final shot of Barry speeding off screen doesn't actually match with anything else we see throughout the trailer. But nevertheless, it's very, very exciting that we're going to be going into this storyline that is heavily death orientated because I mean, the next episode, like tomorrow night's episode, is titled Death Rises. The next episode after that is called Death Falls. And the next one is called Funeral for a Friend. It's all death related. And so let's quickly go over the synopsis for tomorrow night's episode just to tease what's actually going to be happening. So it begins like this All hands on deck. With a new meta terrorizing the city, Joe lends a hand to local authorities. Meanwhile, Barry gets an assist from Cecile, who helps to track down. The mass murderer and so as I mentioned before Joe is going to be helping Kramer take down a new meta that being that guy who flips the car and it seems you know Joe thinks he can help him but it's confirmed that he is a meta which is very interesting but he's just going to be a kind of villain of the week while Barry and Cecile try to track down the mass murderer presumably Barry wants Cecile's help to try and get into the mind of the mass murderer who is in fact Deathstorm. Now that is interesting and I can't wait for tomorrow night's episode but what I specifically wanted to talk about was the episode afterwards. This episode is titled Death Falls, this is episode 13 of season 8, this is going to be airing at the start of April and it begins like this, Grief. Team Flash is under attack and each must fight to save not only themselves but each other. And so that is literally the synopsis, it's so short, and so is the synopsis of the next episode, which is the one titled Funeral for a Friend. That is an episode where I'm going to be going over in another video, because that synopsis is very interesting, and the idea of a funeral for a friend is definitely something worth discussing at length. And yes, I did briefly discuss it in this episode, and it does link into this episode before, because like I said, this is kind of like a death kind of trilogy with three episodes in a row but yeah we'll get into that later but anyway so team flash is under attack and must save each other as well as themselves and this presumably picks up right after where the previous episode ends now i don't know what's specifically going to be happening with deathstorm is he going to attack caitlin is he going to attack everyone else straight away continuing on from last episode and does someone die already in tomorrow night's episode it definitely could happen However, with this episode titled Death Falls, you can presume maybe someone is going to be actually killed in this episode and fall to the ground, or death in regards to Deathstorm, he's going to fall, but I don't think he's going to be defeated in this episode, but maybe they get like a kind of upper hand on him whilst they try and save themselves, even though they are under heavy attack, maybe they can deal some big blows to Deathstorm, we'll just have to wait and see. But that pretty much does it for this video guys, thank you guys so much for watching, if you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos, and remember you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video, and if you want to support me, please be sure to go to the donation link in the description below to my crowdfunding campaign for the new film that I'm directing. It would be highly appreciated if you guys could spare any money to support the film that I'm going to be making. If you guys know I'm actually a filmmaker myself and that's why I've been especially busy recently because of filming and I've got a big project that I'm working on that is looking for crowdfunding and currently we are doing very good and I would appreciate it if you guys could go check out the Indiegogo link which is the fundraiser page that is in the description below and go support if you can, obviously it's completely optional. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching and supporting the channel as usual, and I'll catch you guys later, goodbye.